This week we have only one Thursday video planned because Amelia is not feeling amazingly well this evening and uh, so kind of wussed out on us a little bit. Um, however, she told me to send you this. Now. Okay, uh, I'm sure she wanted uh, much racier than that, but uh, we're going to have to negotiate. So, this week's topic, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I, I don't have much on this week's topic. And so, uh, I was... Ringtone. Tell me if you know what this is. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm that far off topic. Uh, so here's here's the plan. Uh, I'm thinking, since I just don't have anything on this week's topic, uh, how about I just vomit up a bunch of Sydney, and we'll see if it works. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, so, happy Thursday. I had a uh, really quite decent Valentine's Day. Uh, it could have been better, but only with a shot of Bailey's. This week has been dull as fuck for me um, at work because I'm kind of just busy season is over and my system hasn't adapted to the lighter workload. And so I feel this kind of weird stress of just not having my accustomed, you know, slave labor <laughs> but so uh that's where i'm at uh i've had people wondering a lot about my hormone stuff uh since that good that hospital thing um and uh in a nutshell i'm kind of in limbo there are these doctors who want me to quit taking hormones and i can't get a straight answer yet as to whether they mean until further testing or until whatever uh, or if they just mean quit doing it um, great doctors on the whole but they dropped a few little things so right now I'm in kind of hormone limbo uh, I haven't been on testosterone blockers in weeks and uh, that's fascinating uh, my testosterone levels are surely back up to uh, a typical male range because uh, they've had plenty of time to uh, rebound. And uh, that's an entirely different experience from most of the last couple of years. Um, it was about a year ago that I was temporarily off testosterone blockers because we were intentionally letting my levels get back up because they'd gotten too low. This is different. Uh, here, they were probably doing okay. But now we've kind of let my testosterone levels just run amok and do their own thing. Um, there's pros and cons there. Um, but the big question has been uh, the estrogen itself. If I take the testosterone blockers, I've got to take something else, like estrogen most likely, to replace the testosterone that wouldn't be in my system. Uh, because without that, you get osteoporosis and a bunch of other shit. And so if you, if you don't have much testosterone, you need some estrogen. If you don't have much estrogen, you need some testosterone. Um, I'm not a doctor, but that seems to be a general rule of thumb, uh, just for general health. And so I've kind of been off both, but um, I, because I kind of got tired of waiting for my doctor to get back with me, I kind of dosed back up on estrogen over the last few days, and uh, wow, mood swing. Um, me over the last two days has not been not much like me over the last, say, two weeks prior. Uh, and uh, it's kind of interesting that hormones can have such a dramatic effect on 
your mental and emotional states. Um, but I kind of enjoy learning this stuff. Uh, the guinea pigging process is kind of fucked up, though. Uh, you Surely, <laughs> this whole process is a little bit stressful um, on the body. It certainly feels stressful in the mind, uh, even though it can be really cool. And uh, in my universe, mind and body are... Uh, mind is just an emergent property of matter. Um, you didn't expect that one, did you? Uh, but it's true. It's true. Um, and so, uh, I don't know, that's my Thursday. Now you get an opportunity to see the crap that runs through my mind randomly in an arbitrarily selected ten minutes. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. Um, and we'll see you next Thursday. Uh, feel free to comment, video respond, shoot the shit, call me, whatever. Uh, and if not, we're cool anyway. Peace.